Hello Internet, it's John. Welcome back to the Fat Hipster Channel. And today, I'm going to be reviewing a food product that was created by the Heinz Corporation. Now this product came out recently, and it is a product that you're supposed to use with uh, burgers. And I'm assuming this is something for like at-home burgers you can make on the, the grill or the skillet at home. But what they are, um, they're called Heinz Dip and Crunch. It comes in a spicy and a regular. Um, you can see the, the packaging kind of resembles a burger. It's got like a top bone, a bottom bone, and like this meat looking patty. Some like tomato, lettuce, burger thing. What it says is this says, secret sauce and potato crunchers. Both are the same. You have a sauce thing on the bottom. You have potato bits, like little crushed up bits of um, potato chips. And what I'm going to use to try it out is this burger, which is, was just a Memorial Day leftover uh, burger that I just reheated in the microwave. And it was originally cooked on the grill with American cheese. And then I did top it off with some leftover grilled onions. But that's all I put on it because I really wanted to test out these dipping crunches. And we're going to start out with the non spicy variety. It had like a little rip tab that I have already exposed a little bit because it was hard for me to catch it. And I didn't want to spend too much time on the video trying to catch it, but I didn't want to spend too much time on the video describing how long it took me to catch it. So do that. The whole label comes off, then it divides into two packages. You can see it says first dip, then crunch. Let us open the dip side. I'm assuming the spiciness or non spiciness has to do with the dip. I don't think the potato chips on the spicy side don't look like they've been seasoned at all. So I'm going to say that that is not part of the spice. I did get sauce all over my fingers, but I was prepared for that. And, that okay. and then the different crunch thing has a little tab here to pull. Go like that. Let's see, these didn't really have a labeled expiration date that I saw anywhere on there. Well, best by the 13th of June. Today is the 2nd of June, so it's definitely still within its freshness state. Um, regular one has 430 calories. The spicy one has 440 calories. So some of the spice adds 10 calories to it. Go figure. The chips have kind of a stale smell to them. Anyway, let's go ahead and try it out. And with this end of the burger, first dip. There we go. Got plenty of sauce on there. Then crunch. Every little bit of the sauce that's exposed into here. That's as best as I could. And you see you have potato chip crumbs all over that sauce. And now, we're going to take a bite and try it out. It appears to be a ketchup 
and mayo mixed together. And if you look at the ingredients, that's basically what it is. It has a tomato puree and then it has vinegar and egg yolks. A little underwhelming. Um, I'm going to just take one of these bigger chunks of chips. Another dip. Yeah, this one really just tastes like a ketchup mayonnaise. And not even a good ketchup or good mayonnaise. So, like I said, this morning, maybe the spicy one will be better. Sometimes when places have uh, one that's spicy, that just means that's the one they season better. Let's see if that's true here. Put it open. Take off the label. Separate the cups. First dip. This one looks a little bit different. Or contrast. Here's the spicy one. Here's the not spicy one. A little bit darker, I'd say. The not spicy one is actually also a little bit more runny. Shouldn't have tipped it over like that to show you, but happens. That's why you bring extra napkins. Then we open the crunch part. The chips look identical. No real difference there. All right, spicy sauce ready. I'm gonna flip the burger and do the opposite end. Dip it pretty well in there. I would say the cup is a good size to dip a burger. This is like a typical size burger, I think. Um, of course, a smaller one would fit. If you have something larger than this size. Um, you might have some trouble. You could always dump it into a different container or just scoop it onto a plate or something. Okay, here we go. We dipped it, we chipped it, now let's put it in our mouths and chew it. Spicy one's better. The um, the regular one, like I said, it kind of just tastes like ketchup and mayo, but not even a good ketchup or a good mayo. The spicy one, it's a little bit thicker. It just has more depth of flavor to it. There is a spiciness to it, um, not very spicy. It's kind of like a, the same level of like a banana pepper would be at its typical spiciness. Um, the normal one, you could probably make that pretty easily by yourself by mixing some tomato and some ketchup, some tomato ketchup and some mayo together and then crush up a bag of chips and you'll basically have the same thing. Spicy one, you could make that as a home, um, but you're going to have to have a little bit more ingredients, some spice and other seasonings. Uh, overall, I think this this uh, idea is interesting, where you have the two, the two cups, the dip and the crunchy bits. Um, I just think 
what they have here is not special. It, uh, it's something that anyone can easily make a home themselves. It's uh, pretty expensive when you think about it because if you buy a big bag of chips that's a couple bucks plus you get to eat a lot of chips and then you could just take some of the crumbs and use it or you could open up your sandwich put sauce on it put crumbs or whole chips on top of it and make a sandwich that way instead of every time having to dip dip eat it could get a lot more messy this way uh, so even though I think it's an interesting idea I don't think it's a good idea um, if you see this in the stores you could probably skip it it is unspecial the spicy one is better uh, but like I said either one of these could be easily made at home or cheaper you get more out of it you put it on the sandwich instead of having to dip constantly there's so many reasons that this is a bad idea interesting but bad anyway I hope you enjoyed this video give a thumbs up subscribe to the channel until next time we'll see you later leave a comment if you've tried this or seen this or even heard about it and debated getting it let me know in the comment section below and until next time we'll see you later bye